Okay guys, this is going to be an excellent tip for those of you that would like to change your control arm bushings or your trailing arm bushings on your vehicle. Usually when you have a faulty control arm bushing or trailing arm bushing, when you go over bumps you may hear squeaking or other kinds of noises. Now on this vehicle I had squeaking coming from right over here. I sprayed some penetrating oil in this area and then as soon as I did that all squeaking stopped. If you notice, this is right up against the metal of the control arm. That should not be. This is what the good bushing looks like. Equal spacing from here to there and from the end to here. So the arm should be more in the center. I decided not to purchase an entire trailing arm because the bushings only cost around $8 each. So I ordered two of these online and I figured I could use my three jaw puller with a socket to try and push it through but that did not work too well it was very very difficult I didn't get good results trying that I also went to Advanced Auto as well as AutoZone at both of those places they rent you tools for free you just have to lay out the money you get your money back when you return the tools I went there and I found a press set and believe it or not they did not have the right size cup to press the bearing out I checked the $265 set, there was a $165 set, and there were some cheaper sets. None of them had the right size for this vehicle. I also spoke to another person. He says, there's no way you're going to do that. You have to take all of this apart, bring it to a machine shop, let them put it in a press, push the bearing out, and put the new bearing in. Of course, I didn't want to do that. I like to do things myself. So I had to come up with a way to be able to remove this bushing right over here and install the new one. So I'm going to show you a tool that you can make for less than $20 that will allow you to change a multitude of control arm bushings as well as trailing arm bushings. Let's take a closer look. All right, this is the tool that I designed. Inside here is a very long bolt. It's a six, actually I wanted a seven inch bolt, couldn't find one, so I got stuck with the six inch grade 8, 7 16 14 thread per inch bolt. And you want to make sure it's a grade 8. You don't want to risk having that bolt snap under pressure. And make sure the washer as well as the nut is grade 8. Over here is an inch and a quarter by 2 inch galvanized nipple and an inch and a quarter cap. Now originally I tried putting the nut and washer on top of the cap which has a hole drilled exactly in the center of the cap and that's to ensure the rod goes through the bearing and into the socket which presses. You want everything in a nice straight line. So when I started to tighten this whole press, it was actually caving in the top of this cap. So what I did is I went to Home Depot and I found this anchor bolt plate. It's around 3 16 of an inch thick. I think it's two and a half by two and a half and it was only a dollar. So I placed that on top I placed a little bit of grease on top around the hole that was drilled there. It does come with a half inch hole drilled on top. I took a 7 16 inch washer and then the nut. So you have the nut, the washer, the plate, the cap, the nipple. Grease between everything that is rotating. Keep in mind, this is designed for my vehicle. It will let me change the bushings on the control arm and trailing arm. If you have larger bushings, then you're going to want to use possibly an inch and a half pipe with an inch and a half cap and then you're going to want to use a different size socket. This one here is an impact socket. Picked it up for around five bucks, Home Depot. It fits just slightly smaller than the bushing that's inside. So this edge here is going to push right over here and it's slightly smaller. This is what a good one looks like. And this is the one I removed from the opposite side. Look at the difference. Look at how that's stuck out. And this one over here is in. This one's been in there for around 14 years. So we'll be swapping this one out. This side has the socket. All right, it's a half inch drive socket. The half inch drive is on this side. Then I have a half inch regular steel washer. Then a 7 16 inch washer on top of that. 
everything with grease. And as you can see, this slides very nicely inside here. So it'll push this whole bushing all the way inside this pipe when it's all removed. Let me show you how it works. All right, the easiest way for me to remove this bolt is going to be using a breaker bar, half inch breaker bar, 17 millimeter socket. I shouldn't have to hold this until it starts to move. There is a little hook on the steel. The nut and steel are one piece, so it keeps it from rotating. So let me grab right here and pull. All right, keep going. Make sure the vehicle is jacked up, chocks behind the wheels, and it's also a good idea to have a jack stand underneath so the car has no chance of falling on you. Pull this this way, lift up on the control arm. Now I'm going to install the tool. So I'm going to take this side, insert it, take this piece right here, slide it over. See how nicely it all goes together. Take the steel plate, put it right here washer, and then the nut. Before I do anything, the next step is to ensure the socket is perfectly aligned on that bushing, and I want to make sure that this is spaced equal all the way around, so when I press the bushing through the trailing arm, it'll end up inside this pipe. Let me do that, because I can't do it with the camera in the way, and then I'll be right back. going in very easily. You can see this pulling in right here. And it's moving directly into the galvanized pipe. All right, so now I bottomed out on the threads of the bolt. So what I'm going to do is just back off on the nut, add a couple of washers on here, and then I'll be able to tighten it further, and this will push right through. You'll see that happen. So let me take this off right here, add one washer, I'm going to throw in a couple of washers. Actually, I don't have to add another washer, but I could do even easier. Just throw on another plate. Got one right here. That makes up the thickness. Now the whole thing will pop off cleanly. Okay. And there it goes, I feel it getting ready to go. Bingo. Is that beautiful? Take this off. No need for a fine thread bolt. The 14 thread per inch works just fine. Right in there is the old bushing. Look at that mess. Take this out. Before I put it back in, we just clean this. Put a thin film of soap inside that opening. Because the bolt was six inches rather than the seven that I wanted, when I go to push it in initially, what I'll do is I'll use this end with the socket, pushing against the bushing, into the side of the trailing arm that has the bevel. This side has a bevel and this side is flush. So make sure the bushing goes in where the bevel is. I took the two plates with a deep socket, a washer, and a nut. Now I'm going to tighten it down and you'll see it start to go in. Once this is in about halfway, then I could take this off and use the galvanized cup with the washer and the nut. I don't want to go too far because you got to remember the inside part sticks out like three-eighths of an inch. So I'll go a little further, take a look, and then I'll switch to the galvanized cup.
And now I'm finishing it off using the galvanized cup, washer, and the nut. You see it's almost all the way in. Now it's all the way in. All I have to do is remove the nut on the end and slide everything out. Perfectly centered. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.